Since it was announced that Dale Howarchuk had cancer, his son Eric has kind of been the spokesperson for the family. Actually, not kind of. He has been the spokesperson yeah. for the family, uh, keeping us all updated on Dale's journey and fight against the disease, including Dale ringing the bell of hope uh, back on April 13th and the announcement of the website HowardChuckStrong.com. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, it can be a tough position to be that, that spokesperson. I mean, obviously, he would have loved to have delivered good news all the way through. Obviously, as we saw in the uh, around the world kind of tweets that, that came out, it was his that, that led the way and started, uh, you know, the outpouring of support for, for his family and uh, the memories of, of Dale Howard Chuck's career. So obviously he was in a tough spot, but obviously did a fantastic job with it. Has done a great job so far and continues uh, that as well with HowardChuckStrong.com. Uh, here's my conversation with Eric from Monday afternoon. Right now about Eric Howardchuck, the son of Dale Howardchuck. Uh, Eric, I know you've probably been asked this a million times already, but uh, how are you doing today? Uh, we're doing fine. Um, it's been a difficult couple of weeks, but, um, you know, we're starting to, uh, you know, move on and um, try to uh, push the Howard Chuck Strong initiative and make sure that uh, he's proud of what we're doing. And I'm sure he is. Uh, was the Howard Chuck Strong a, a good thing because it's keeping you busy during a time like this? Yeah, definitely. Um, he kind of told me before he passed, you know, he really wanted to try to take this thing to the next level. So um, we're, we're in the process of planning our first event actually um, next weekend in Muskoka, Ontario. So, uh, you know, it's, it's been a, it's obviously tough with all the COVID restrictions and stuff. So uh, make sure to keep everyone socially distanced and stuff. But um, yeah, it's, it has been a good distraction in a way. What is the biggest thing that surprised you about the hockey world's response to the passing of your dad? Uh, yeah, the, the hockey community is uh, it's an amazing sport in that way. It seems like everyone um, cares for each other. And uh, I've had a, a tremendous number of players reach out to me over these past couple of weeks. And um, it's been really nice to have their support and hear the nice stories that they have to say about Dale. And, um, you know, uh, he obviously was uh, had a special relationship with a lot of these guys. And, um, it, yeah, you know, his friends were important to him. What, were the, what was the final week like with your dad? Did you get everything in that you wanted to, Eric, and, you know, say what you wanted to say? I mean, obviously, you, uh, you always could say and do more, I think, um, looking back. But, uh, man, it, you know, I kind of talked about this with my family. And, you know, if you had to lose them, like, would you rather it be suddenly or you kind of get to say goodbye? You know, I felt lucky in that sense because not everyone gets to say goodbye to their loved ones. And uh, so that, that was a positive if, or, if I could take one. Any stories that, you know, fellow players or fellow teammates told you that uh, kind of brought a smile to your eye? And I know there's probably been a hundred of them, but did any of those, any of those stories kind of stand out? Uh, I guess the so John Tortorella sent my dad a text and um, I thought it was kind of funny because he's, uh, he was like wishing Dale well and hope he starts feeling better. And it was just like all exclamation marks after, which is <laughs> totally toys. So even, he even text like he talks. So that, that was kind of funny. Um, next steps for you and your family now to, as you, as you continue uh, to move on. Uh, for us, we're, uh, you know, we're trying to stay together and uh, be there for each other. You know, we we go through tough times at different times. So, um, you know, it's been nice to have everyone together and, um, we're, we're just hoping we can, uh, you know, like I said, focus on Dale's initiative and try to make sure uh, we make him proud. What about the, support, the response from the, the Winnipeg Jet community, the fans, and the organization itself, as I, as I send you one, one last question here? Uh, the Jets have been amazing. Uh, the fans as well. Obviously, it was really cool when um, Mark and Zinger told Dale about the statue that they're building. And, I mean, we're tremendously honored that they're going to do that. So it's a pretty cool. And, um, we've had so we've had some incredible. It's been it helped a lot, and uh, you know, we're very fortunate in that way. On behalf of us here at Just TV, uh, Eric, uh, to you and your mom and the rest of your family, uh, condolences. Uh, thank you so much for doing this, and we wish you all the best going forward. Thanks for having me on, Jim. Take care.